प्रकाशे स्मरण हम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा सुदाचार्य पर्यता मुंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुते श्रुते पुराण आलिंग करुणाल भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाधराणी सूत्रभाष्यो वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने ज्योतिपास्मे पूर्व नेति नेति ब्रह्मातिरिक्त वस्तु निषेध्यम उत्तम युक्त पूर्वपक्षी से अर्लियर वॉट दि सिद्धांति हेज एस्टाब्लिश्ड और सिद्धांति थिंग्स दैट हीज एस्टाब्लिश्ड एज टू वॉट पूर्व नेति नेति ब्रह्म अतिरिक्त वस्तु निषेध्यम उक्त दैट इज नॉट राइट नेति नेति बाय नेति नेति वस्तु अदर देन ब्रह्म इज निगेटेड निषेध्यम शुड बी निगेटेड निषेध निषेध्यम इज निषेध योग्यम य प्रत्यादेर इज कर्मणि एंड योग्यार्थे सो निषेध योग्य ब्रह्म अतिरिक्त प्रपंच जीवा ऑल दिस इज निषेध योग्य शुड बी निगेटेड should be set aside as real this is the claim made by the siddhanti and that is not appropriate says the purva pakshi brahmana setutvat manadi upadeshena vastvantara satvagamat satva avagamat dyubvadyadikarane setutvasya gaunatvena nitatve api unmanadinam gatehe adarshanadityakshepa sangatya idamaha why should the vastu other than brahma not be nisheda yogya as per purva pakshi meaning why is it that you cannot negate the prapancha or anything else other than brahma because it exists how does it exist purva pakshi says that brahma has been explained as setu athay atma sa setu hu setu is a bridge a bridge cannot be all by itself without the connection of two things so brahma is a setu to cross over from one to the other so you cannot have only brahma without anything else being there if anything else is not there then why would shruti reveal this brahma as a setu and because shruti reveals brahma as setu artha prati pramana anyatha anupapatya purupakshi is also using the same thing anyatha anupapatya you can see that bridge is a connection between two points shruti says that brahma is a bridge is a setu this setutva of brahma wouldn't be valid had there been no second entity there should be at least two entities without that setu usage in shruti is not valid for brahma so setutva usage for brahma shows that there are two entities at least without which setutva upadesha wouldn't have been valid therefore anyatha anupapatya there has to be something other than brahma which is not nisheda yogya if it is nisheda yogya if you negate it then setutva upadesha is not possible this is the approach of the purva pakshi brahmana setutva since brahma is explained as a bridge therefore manadi upadeshena therefore there is teaching of some difference which is measurable there although uh, uh, without that there won't be 
a bridge possible therefore brahma has to be accept vastvantara uh, vastvantara sattva avagamat therefore another vastu has been accepted and since another vastu other than brahma has been accepted therefore you should not say that brahma atirktam vastu nishedyam the siddhanti answers to this either we have already explained this in jyupad yadikarana setu this mantra about setu has been visited earlier also we have said there we have said that that is a gauna prayoga it is not mukha mukhya prayoga setu hu iva setu hu we have already said that in the earlier chapter in the jyupad yadikarana so why do you bring that up again <coughs> this is the question raised by the siddhanti as an answer to i uh, to show that the this uh, uh this query or this doubt is not valid this objection is not valid because we have already answered this so the puro pakshi says okay you have answered what have you said dhyuvad yadikarane setutvasya gaunatvam गौणत्वेन नीतत्वेपि इवन इफ यू हैव सेड दैट दिस सेतु मंत्र कैन बी रेड एंड अंडरस्टूड इंटरप्रिटेड एज गौण इट इज नॉट इन दी लिटरल मीनिंग इट इज इन दी इट इज इन दी मीनिंग इन विच उपासना इज पॉसिबल सो इट इज गौण इट इज नॉट लिटरल मीनिंग देर इवन देन पूर्व पक्षी से इवन देन उन्मादी नाम गते श्रुति उन्मादी इत्यादि सेतुत्व उन्मादी व्यपदेश टीचिंग सो उन्मादी नाम गते अदर्शनाक्षेप संगत इवन इफ इट इज ए गौण प्रयोग The unmanadi is the tatparya there, and that tatparya not being known, since the tatparya tatparya gate he which the tatparya unmanadi nam the mantra there unmanadi gate he adarshanat it is not known, therefore this akshepa is valid as to there has to be. at that point of time you have to accept the second entity as real thereby this bridge is possible iti akshapa sangatya idamah thereby the paradikaranam comes up and the first sutra there bhagwan sutrakara says paramata setun mana sambandha bheda vyapadeshebhya paramata setun mana sambandha bheda vyapadeshebhya परम अतः जिसकी मी वन मोमेंट प्लीज ओके सो परम अतः सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज सी इन द नेक्स्ट थर्टी सेकंड सूत्र इंट्रोडक्शन सेज एवं पूर्व पक्षे सिद्धांत सो अर्लियर सूत्र हेज टू पूर्व पूर्वपक्ष सूत्र सो दिस इज अ पूर्वपक्ष सूत्र परम अतः सो अतः परम अतः सेतुन्मान संबंध भेद व्यपदेश सिंगल वर्ड सो दर थ्री वर्ड्स परम अतः एंड देन दी एंटायर समास इज अ सिंगल वर्ड दिस इज अ पूर्वपक्ष सूत्र सो वॉट डज से अतः अतः ब्रह्मण परम अन्यत वस्तु अस्ति ही सेज अदर देन दिस ब्रह्म देर इज समथिंग एल्स बिकॉज इस उन्मान उन्मान इज बीइंग डिस्कस बिकॉज देर इज अ मेजर बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट विथ अ लिमिट देर इज अ मेजर एंड देर इज अ लिमिट दैट इज उन्मान एंड सेतुत्व व्यपदेशा इज देर सेतुत्व टीचिंग इज देर सो देर इज अ मेजर एंड अ ब्रिज so this is possible only when there is a second entity whereby there is a merger with parmatma 
how so so you look at it in the upasana you said that it is an upasana what is the upasana in the dakshina akshi there is a purusha akshin in the right eye there is a purusha this purusha is different from the aditya gata purusha so aditya gata purusha is brahma we will not say brahma we will just say aditya gata purusha puro pakshi says there is a aditya aditya gata purusha purusha in surya and there is a purusha who is jiva who is different from that purusha in the right eye of the upasaka so the upasana is the aditya gata purusha upasana also and there is a dakshini uh, dakshina akshi gata purusha upasana also dakshina akshini ya purusha tasya api upasanam vartate so there is upasana of the jiva and there is an upasana of the aditya gata purusha so whether you call it jiva or we don't care who you call but there is so we are not calling brahma and jiva he says that there is a aditya gata purusha and there is a purusha in the right eye this is how the upasana is taught so if the upasanas are different or one is also not a concern there brahma has been discussed as setu so this setu which connects this individual upasaka to the goal with this upasana of seeing brahma as a setu which connects the difference is already taught thereby this upasana which merges the jiva with parmatma that merger to take place through the bridge brahma itself becomes the bridge there one has to accept bheda and thereby brahma atirktam vastu nishedyam this should not be the claim this is the sutra artha setu unmana sambandha bheda vyapadeshebhya so the teaching of multiple hetus are given because of so many hetus he says that setu teaching is there unmana major is being discussed there sambandha between them is discussed meaning the bridge that connects jiva so jiva is different bheda bheda teaching of bheda is there otherwise sambandha won't be possible therefore you have to accept that there is brahma atirkta vastu whatever that vastu is there may be differences in understanding but you cannot outright deny the bheda as a second entity not being existent that cannot be the complete uh, you know negation you cannot uh, completely you, you cannot say that nothing other than brahma exists something has to be accepted whatever that is there may be discussion there possible uh, but then you cannot negate it wholesale so this is the pura paksha sutra we have seen uh, the upasana kind of a gaudatva mukhya literal it is not all that we have seen jubvadi adikaranam the vritti says atra purva pakshe unmanaadi shruti na mukhyatva savishesham brahma iti phalam siddhante tu ukta advitiya brahma siddhi riti viveka so purva pakshi sutra also has siddhanta purva pakshi says that because of the teaching of bheda their bheda has to be accepted basic meaning and then he says because setu teaching is there unmana teaching is there sambandha has been discussed therefore bheda has to be accepted so many hetus he has given basic hetu is that teaching of bheda is there with what all it is there he has quoted as setu ityadi so purva pakshe unmana adi shruti na mukhyatvat he says there is no you have mentioned as gauda but i have not accepted why because they have literal meaning possible teaching of bheda is there and there is a merger and this can be a perspective of what of the ekadeshi vedanti also because he also accepts that there is real bheda and by upasana or nidhyasana there will be real merger also so that can also be the puro paksha there unmana adi shruti na all the dimensions major all that is mentioned there in the shrutis those shrutis have mukhyatva they are in their primary meaning and therefore mukhyatva because of their being in the literal meaning vishe uh, savishesham brahma iti phalam therefore brahma is savishesha 
ಆದಿತ್ಯಗತ ಪುರುಷ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ತು ಉಕ್ತ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರಿತಿ ವಿವೇಕ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಅವರ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ತತ್ವ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಭ್ರಾಂತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮನ್ವಯ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಶೋನ್ ಅವಿರೋಧ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರಾಮಾಣಿಕ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಭ್ರಾಂತಿ ಸೊ ಭ್ರಾಂತಿ ಮೂಲತ್ವ ದೇರ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ವಿರೋಧ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಭೇದ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಶೋನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅವಿರೋಧ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ತೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಉಕ್ತ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ರಿಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಮೈಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಆರೋಪಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅವೇ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ರಿವೀಲ್ಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅತಿರಿಕ್ತ ವಸ್ತು ಅಸ್ತಿ ನ ವಾಯಿತಿ ಸಂದೇ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡೌಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ವಸ್ತು ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅತಃ ಅಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸಕಾಶಾತ್ ಪರಂ ವಸ್ತು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಅತಃ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಪಂಚಮಿ ದಿಗ್ಯೋಗ ಪಂಚಮಿ ಸೊ ಅಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸಕಾಶಾತ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅನದರ್ ವಸ್ತು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರಂ ವಸ್ತು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ವಸ್ತು ಹೌ ಸೋ ವಾಯ್ ಅಥ ಆತ್ಮಸ ಸೇತು ಇತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸೇತುತ್ವ ವಿಪದೇಶ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೇತುತ್ವ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೇತು ಸೇತು ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೇತುತ್ವ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಥ ಯ ಆತ್ಮಸ ಸೇತು ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇತು ದೇರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಥ ಯ ಆತ್ಮ ಸ ಸೇತು ದಟ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೇತು ಇತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸೇತುತ್ವ ಉಪದೇಶ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೇತು ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ತಥಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚತುಷ್ಪಾತ್ ಇತಿ ಶ್ರುತೌ ಉನ್ಮಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹೈ ಚತುಷ್ಪಾತ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಸೊ ಉನ್ಮಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ಇತಿ ಶ್ರುತೌ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಉನ್ಮಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಜರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಏತಾವದ್ದಿದಿ ಪರಿಚ್ಛಿನ್ನತ್ವ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸುಷುಪ್ತ ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞೇನ ಆತ್ಮನ ಸಂಪರಿಶ್ವಕ್ತ ಶಾರೀರ ಆತ್ಮ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಉಪದೇಶ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಉಪಾಸನಾ ಕಾಂಡ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕಾಂಡ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಏತಾವದ್ದಿದಂ ಏತಾವದ್ದಿದಂ ಇತಿ ಪರಿಚ್ಛಿನ್ನತ್ವ ಉಪದೇಶ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಘಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಪಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷಸ್ ದಟ್ ಘಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಟಾ ಪಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಘಟಾ ದೇರ್ ವಾಯ್ ಏತಾವತ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೆಪರೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಟು ಬಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವ್ 
शरीर हैज टू बी सेपरेट एंड देन यू से दिस जीवात्मा इज परमात्मा ही इज गोइंग टू कनेक्ट विथ परमात्मा मर्ज विथ परमात्मा देर फोर पूर्व पक्षी से दिस आत्मा जीवात्मा इज ऑल्सो सेपरेट फ्रॉम परमात्मा एंड शरीर एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट शरीर इज अवेलेबल सेपरेट फ्रॉम आत्मा बिकॉज शरीर शरीर शरीरम एंड शारी रह हैव डिफरेंस पदार्थाज आर डिफरेंट पदार्थ आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंस वॉट इज ए पदार्थ शारी रह मीन्स आत्मा शरीर मीन्स द बॉडी देह सो देही आत्मा एंड देह आर टू सेपरेट एंटिटीज यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट भेदा देर ऑल्सो इत्यादि न ब्रह्मण संबंध व्यपदेशा ब्रह्म इज कनेक्टेड विद दि शरीर आत्मा इज कनेक्टेड विद दि शरीर जीवा जीवात्मा इन शुषुप्ति कनेक्ट्स विथ ब्रह्म ईश्वर प्राज्ञन आत्म संपरीश्वक्त ही हेज संबंध विथ ईश्वर सो दट मर्जर विच इज टॉक अबउट इन दि शुषुप्ति इज ऑलो पॉसिबल ओनली विथ भेद विदउट भेद मर्जिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन शुषुप्ति ऑलो एंड इन मुक्ति ऑलो सो संबंध व्यपदेश इज अनदर हेतु देन आदित्य हिरण्मय पुषम ईश्वर व्यपदिश्य तथो भेदेन अक्षिस्थ पुरुष से व्यपदेशा एंड उपासना विच वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस देर इज अ हिरण्मय पुरुष वेर इन आदित्य इन सूर्यमंडल आदित्य हिरण्मय गोलडन कलर्ड पुरुष पुषम ईश्वर व्यपदिश्य हैविंग टॉट दैट कैंड ऑफ अ गोलडन ईश्वर मीनिंग पुरुष हु हेज अ गोलडन फॉर्म who is present in surya mandala in the solar disk tatah bhedena akshistha purushasya vipadesha then this purusha in the right eye of the upasaka is taught as separate vipadesha that teaching is also there that is also hetu so here bhedena vipadesha setun setutvena vipadesha unmanatve unmanatve na vipadesha then sambandhatve na vipadesha bhedatve na vipadesha all these are hetu therefore you have to accept just give me one moment please somebody is uh sorry okay somebody uh, i don't know i have uh, somebody was requesting to join the class okay so uh, i'll see it later so here uh, so these are the hetus given by the puro pakshi bhed has to be accepted tasma sadvityam brahma iti siddham therefore brahma is that which has another sadvitiyam means what dvitiyena saha vartate iti sadvitiyam brahma brahma is along with a second what that second is you can you know take your pick who is that but you cannot deny that there is nothing other than brahma you cannot say that deny that something other than brahma is nisheda yogya you should not say that because of these many hetus एवं पूर्व पक्षे प्राप्त सती सिद्धांत वॉट इज सिद्धांत वेन दिस इज द पूर्व पक्ष सूत्र क्लेमिंग भेद हेज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड यू शुड नॉट से देर इज नथिंग अदर देन ब्रह्म ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ सामान्य दि जनरलिटी सो दि वर्ड सेतुत्व हेज अ जनरल मीनिंग so you can see it as a bridge i can see it as a dam also you are thinking a bridge connects one to the other whereas a dam can limit something as well now look at this we we'll look at the artha in the sutra tu shabda puro paksha nirasa artha the puro paksha is discounted setutva apadesha is samanyattu so sutra artha is what samanyattu सेतुत्वपदेश और सेतुपदेश ब्रह्मण सेतुत्वपदेश तू शब्द इज टू से दैट पूर्व पक्षी इज नॉट करेक्ट हिज ऑब्जेक्शन इज नॉट वैलिड हिज कंक्लूजन इज नॉट करेक्ट एज टू भेद रियली एक्सिस्ट मृदारवादीमय ही सेतुशब्द रूढ़ो लोके न ही ब्रह्मणस्तादृश सेतुत्वस्ति so the siddhanti says if you look at the dam which is built which you see as a bridge the dam that 
blocks water, holds water somewhere in that meaning which is made by Mridharva Ityadi, the material. So for a delimitation or Maryada, the dam is constructed. So that which is a vikar of Mrut Dharva Ityadi, meaning uh, Dharu is a Dharu is wood, Mrut is earth, meaning clay. So before the cement era, all, all that we used to have what the bridge, all this was constructed with wood and mud. So if you have seen old houses, they were all wood and mud. Similarly, the bridge or dam also would be constructed with wood and mud. Adipadena, you can take other things also, stones, all sorts of things that are available to make it a solid structure. So, Mruddharvadi Mayehi Setu Shabdaha Rudaha. The Rudi earth of that is in the word Loke. The, the word Setu means that which is a dam constructed of these kind of materials. Nahi Brahmanha Tadrusham Setu Tomasti. If you take the literal meaning of a bridge, Brahma cannot be that kind of a bridge because Brahma, so Puropakshi is making a claim that it is a bridge in the literal meaning. So if it is in the literal meaning, Siddhanti has, to, has no choice but to laugh out. So he has to show how ridiculous it is. So he says that Brahma is Brahma bridge. If Brahma is literally a bridge, then is Brahma made up of Mruddharvadi? Obviously not. Puropakshi with all his wisdom, cannot claim that Brahma is a literal Setu. So he has to accept the Gaudatva. He cannot say it is in the Mukhya meaning. Setutva cannot be in the Mukhya meaning, otherwise you have to say that Brahma as revealed by the Shruti is made up of some material such as wood, clay etc. Which is laughable. Therefore, Tadrusham Setutvam Brahmana na Sambhavati, Nasti. Hintu, then what meaning should you take? Kintu yatha sato ho jala yatha yatha seto ho sorry yatha seto ho jala vyavastha pakatvam evam brahmana api jagan maryada vyavastha pakatvena prasiddha setu samanyat samyat setu tva yapadesha ityata. So what is this usage of the word of brahma being expressed as setu? So that setu just like in the world setoho jala vyavasthapakattva there is a limit brought to the water and there is a control of water flow of water so you limit the river from flowing any further you channel it and then you channel the water some part of course not everything so not the entire river but then you build a dam and then you channel the water. This is the purpose of the Setu there. Evam Brahmana api Jagat Maryada Jagan Maryada. So the, the limitation of the world Jagan Maryada Vyavasthapakatvena Prasiddha Setu Samanya Samanya means Samya because of similarity general similarity of Brahma and the Setu. Brahma is called as Setu. Why? Because the Setu channels Jala, limits Jala and the Maryada of the Jagat, Mithyatva Maryada of the Jagat is shown by the Brahma being called as Setu. It establishes this. Brahma, anything other than Brahma is Mithya. Therefore, Brahma is called as a Setu. So there is a limitation done there. You draw a line. Is it Brahma? It is not Brahma. Everything other than Brahma is Jagat. That Jagat, Maryada, Vyavastha is made by the so-called dam, when you call this Brahma is like that so-called dam which delimits. What is the delimitation here? You draw a line that anything other than Brahma is separated out and say you say that all that is Mithya. So that is the meaning there. So there is a Vyavastha, the limitation of the Jagat is shown by Jagat is not Nitya, Nitya. Brahma is Nitya. Jagat is not Sat. So you make a Maryada. Jagat cannot be Sat. Why borrowed existence? Where is he borrowing from? From this Setu. The, the Satta is borrowed from Brahma. So you limit Satyata of Jagat 
and take it to Brahma. So this is how Brahma is called as a Setu there. This is the Siddhanti's answer to it. Then what about this Unmana Vyapadesha? Setu Tvaya refuted. What about Unmana Adi Vyapadesha? Unmana Vyapadesha Api Na Mukhya Ityaha. That is also not Mukhya says the Siddhanti refuting in the next sutra as to the dimensions of Brahma Ityadi which are mentioned there. The Purusha dimensions etc. They are not in their literal meaning. Buddhyartaf Padavata. Buddhyartaf Padavata. So, buddhi, buddhi here is upasana. So, buddhyarthaha, meaning, buddhyartha is buddhi upasanam arthaha prayojanam yasya saha buddhyarthaha. So, that unmana vyapadeshaha, teaching, it is pullinga. What is that teaching for? That is for the purpose of Upasana. So, Upasana Artha. Buddhi Artha means Upasana Artha. Vyapadesha. Unmana Adi Vyapadesha. How? Like what? Padavat. Meaning Brahma Chatushpat Iti Padavat. That Pada Chatushpat that you have quoted. Uh, Brahma Chatushpat Iti Shurta Unmana Vyapadesha. That Brahma Chatushpat. The teaching of Brahma having four Padas. That four Pada is not literal. We have already explained that earlier. Four Padas, Brahma does not have literal four Padas. There is a comparison made. Some kind of comparative is used to aid the Upasana, to help the Upasaka reach the goal. With some comparison, Upasana is taught. So it is for the Padavat, Buddhyartaha Padavat. It is just like the four padas, so also the dimensions or measures which are mentioned in Upasana, they are also for Upasana. They have no other purpose. For easy understanding of the Upasaka, leading him to some kind of, uh, through some kind of handholding, leading him to the goal of the Upasana. Divritti says Brahma Chatushpat iti shrutav unmana vipadesha buddhyartaha upasana artaha. The teaching of unmana ityadi is for what? The upasana, purpose of upasana. Therefore, upasana meaning is not mukhya, need not be mukhya. Nirvisheshasya buddhista, uh, buddhistatva ayogat. Nirvishesha nirguda brahma is difficult to understand. You cannot do an upasana without gunas. So some gunas are to be discussed. Some examples are given. Imagine in this manner and thereby you will get this kind of a phala. It is not real. So they say that since it is difficult for you to understand, I will give an example. So we also, you know, while we are uh, discussing something and if we, if the other does not know, so I find it difficult, then we end up using some examples. The example and exemplified definitely have differences. Example is not literal. It is like this. So it is not exactly that itself. There is a difference. It is not in the literal meaning. So if you like Simho Manavaka, if you say the kid is, you know, the kid is like a like a Simha. So look at this young boy, he is like a lion, if you say, then what do you really mean? You don't mean that he is a lion. It is not in the literal sense at all. So what do you mean? For easy understanding, you are saying he has such, uh, you know, whether he, if he is cruel, then you say that you want to point out he is very cruel, like a lion is cruel, or he, uh, he is very courageous like a lion. So it can be any which way. Based on the context, the example is, oh, he is like a lion. Does not mean that he is a lion. Literally, you cannot say that he is a lion. So just like Sedutto Epadesha is for a purpose, some purpose. Similarly, here there is a uh, discussion of an upasana. So, upasana, if it is there, then upasana is some hand holding for us to understand that Brahma can be imagined in this manner. It is not the way Brahma is because Nirguna Brahma cannot be imagined. Without guna, how will an upasaka hold on to something? What he has to do is that any guna comes up, he has to drop it. Then 
that is not upasana that would be not a positive teaching it is a neti neti prakriya which is jnana so in upasana you cannot say that hold on to nirguna brahma how will you hold on to nirguna brahma it is difficult to hold on to that nirguna brahma that would be a nididhyasana kind of a stage so in upasana where one is trying to be taught as to what this brahma really is for ekagrata upasana and for some phala upasana is taught there brahma is taught to have some gunas which are not there in brahma at all but it is for it is a stepping stone rather so nirvishesha buddhisthatva ayogat it is not possible to hold in buddhi this nirvishesha nirguna brahma so in buddhi you can hold only savishesha with some dharmas you can imagine therefore you look at in any upasana some dhyana shloka is taught when we start doing some japa or some sahasranama ityadi also dhyana shloka is taught because all these namas also which are all discussing gunas you consider as description of that entity who can be picturized in some manner not an unpicturizable entity who does not have a name or a form he is being given some names if you say i am thinking of this nirguna brahma with these kind of uh, you know lalita sahasranama kind of names or vishnu sahasranama kind of names or some japa mantra with that i am worshiping that entity you cannot worship that entity who is not objectifiable because it has no dharmas no gunas no visheshas so some vishesha has to be taught for the purpose of puja for the purpose of purpose of bhakti for the purpose of upasana so that over a period of time this nirgunatva becomes easy to understand upasana dwara buddhistasya unmana vipadesha na mukhya so this teaching of dimensions unmana ityadi of that entity who is in the buddhi only with vishesha that being possible therefore upasana dwara one who is present in the buddhi that kind of image which has been created by shastra for upasaka to follow the unmana vipadesha is not mukhya it is only for the purpose of upasana and through upasana one can through such kind of a painting one can hold on to the image in one's mind padavat just like the padavipadesha in the same section there yatha brahma pratikasya manasah vagrana chakshu shrotrana upasanartham padatvene vipadesha tad vadityartha so brahma pratika brahma pratika upasana you hold on to brahma as what ब्रह्म प्रति मनस वाघ्राण चक्षु श्रोत्राण उपासना पादत्न व्यपदेश सो दर इज अचिंग ऑफ ब्रह्म एज हैविंग फोर पाद सो दी दि प्रतीक वॉट इज दि प्रतीक देर दि सम कैंड ऑफ एन इमेजरी देर the antakkarana manas manas as vak ghrana chakshu shrotrana upasanartham so vak vagindriya ghranendriya chakshurindriya and shrotrendriya these are the four padas of brahma pratika mana the manas there is brahma pratika meaning you see the brahma in the mind as having four padas vak ग्रहण चक्षु श्रोत्र सो दीज फोर पाद आर नॉट रियली दी पाद ऑफ ब्रह्म दी मनस कनेक्ट्स विद दी इंद्रिया वागेन्द्रिया घ्राण इंद्रिया चक्षुरेन्द्रिया श्रोत्रेन्द्रिया एंड मेक्स दी विषय ऑफ ईच ऑफ दीज इंद्रिया टू बी अवेलेबल सो सम कैंड ऑफ उपासना इज नॉट दैट दिस आत्मा कनेक्ट्स विद दी मन एज एन उपाधि एंड देन मन थ्रू दी indriyas as upadi connects with the vishayas so this this way you can do upasana as brahma atma brahma pratika manas so the antakkarana itself is seen as brahma 
which has four quarters there padas it is not real brahma is not manas and brahma is not connected with these indriyas at all but still they they are not four parts of brahma but still such an imagery is given tadvad ityartha it is not literal it is for upasana sambandha bheda vipadesha upi na mukhyo vityah the other two sambandha and bheda both are taken as separate hetus two hetus have been refuted the other two hetus sambandha and bheda are taken together they are also not in the mukhya meaning says the next sutra sthan visheshat prakashadivat sthan visheshat prakashadivat it has already been mentioned prakasha upa uh, uh, the uh, upama the example of prakasha has been used sthan visheshat because there is sam sthana upadhi which is becomes a vishesha thereby brahma is seen with vishesha sa vishesha it is not true sthana vishesha prakasha also has sam sthana it reflects of that sthana and appears to be curved etc or we have seen what if you place the fingers in between the beam of light then what happens that the beam splits so this we have seen sthana vipadi sthana vishesha sam sthana anguli vishesha so you bring in the fingers and you can split this aura prakasha but will is it really split it is not split so that bheda of one beam appearing as four or five beams or six beams whatever it is number of fingers that you throw in between you see some shadows on the wall and between the shadows what do you see you see light so you think that there are four or five different lights beams of light but it is actually this single beam of sunlight which is entering the window or the door of the house so there is no real split so bheda is what like that and sambandha will see in the vritti sthana visheshat sthanam upadihi buddhyadihi so upadi buddhi ityadi becomes upadi and that sthana becoming upadi tad visheshat praptasya bhedasya upadyu upashamat yah upashamah sa eva pradnina atmana jeevasya shushuptau sambandha iti upadi uh, iti upadya peksha upacharyate so this sambandha with the uh, sambandha of jeeva with brahma and thereby merging in sushupti this is discussed in the shastra all right but that sambandha of jeeva with parmatma is seen only because outside of sushupti there is an upadhi of antakarna for this jeevatma which has as do separated jeevatma from parmatma the separation is not real since the unreal separation mithya separation from parmatma exist in non sushupti avasthas in jagrat and swapna with the upadhi of the antakarna buddhi therefore the resolution of buddhi in sushupti itself will cause an as do merger there is no real merger why because there, there was no separation which was real the separation from parmatma of this jeeva is only due to the upadhi in jagrat and swapna avastha in sushupti such upadhi itself does not exist which cannot become a visheshana and separate this jeeva as a samsari jeeva at all so in sushupti there is no bheda it is not that the bheda which was there is taken away but the bheda which was created due to as though created it was it was appearing rather the bheda which was only an appearance due to the upadhi of manaha just like the differences which appear due to the fingers being placed in between the prakasha has absolutely nothing to do with the fingers let alone being split when the prakasha has nothing to do with the fingers how can it be split just like akash has nothing to do with the ghata matha ityadi how can it be separated as ghata akasha matha akasha in vyavahara it is there all right but it is not true that akasha was segmented and after the ghata is destroyed matha is destroyed akasha becomes one there is no real merger there was never a separation even where ghata and matha were there there alone 
the akasha is also there the same akasha which was there before creation of the ghata before production of the ghata before constructing a matha the akasha was there continues to be there and even after the destruction of the pot boundary and the matha boundary the 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 temple boundary or the uh, you know the uh, Uh, the whatever the constructed house etc those boundaries before the boundaries when the boundaries are there and after the boundaries also akasha remains unchanged similarly this prakasha akasha example similar to those the chaitanya which is the swarup of brahma does not get segmented at all even in jagrat and swapna avastha let alone in shushupti or in final merging there is no real merging at all what you think as merging in shushupti or merging in mukti such merging really does not exist it is figurative upacharyate so that is explained here the sthana buddhi ityadi sthana vishesha sthana upadhi buddhyaadi antakarana indriya all this tad visheshat praptasya bhedasya this bheda is prapta as do it is not really there मिथ्यान प्राप्त से भेद से उपाधि उपशमा वेन दि उपाधि गोज वेद उपशमा इज सेशन ऑफ दट उपाधि और रिजोल्यूशन और सम कैंड ऑफ यु नो बिकमिंग क्वाइट क्वाइटिंग डाउन ऑफ दिस उपाधि वेन दि उपाधि क्वाइट डाउन इन सुषुप्ति इट बिकम्स रिजॉल्व यह उपशम सह एव प्राजन आत्मना जीव से सुषुप्त संबंध इति उपाधि अपेक्ष्य उपचर्य कंसीडरिंग दिस उपाधि विच वाज देयर अर्लियर विच वाज नॉट रियली विशेषण ऑफ दि आत्मा एट ऑल देर वाज नो रियल सेगमेंटेशन इट वाज अ मियर एपियरेंस ऑफ भेद सो प्राजन आत्मना जीव से सुषुप्त संबंध प्राजे ईश्वर विद दैट प्राज्ञ परमात्मा आत्मा देर इज जीव हू इज इन सुषुप्ति हैविंग संबंध सो जीव से संबंध कें स प्राचीन आत्मना परमात्मना स दैट इज उपचार उपचार उपचर्य मीन्स इट इज यूज फिगरेटिवली कंसिडरिंग वॉट अपेक्ष उपाधि अपेक्ष उपाधि अपेक्ष कंसिडरिंग दैट देर वॉज एन उपाधि अर्लियर नाउ देर इज संबंध आई मेन्शन एज टू मर्जर टेक्स प्लेस विथ ईश्वरा इट इज नॉट ट्रू नॉट रियली सो इट इज फिगरेटिव यूज इज इट इज अ रिटॉरिक अक्षा अक्षी अक्षी एंड आदित्य पुरुष व्हाट अबाउट दैट अक्षी आदित्य पुरुष भेद व्यपदेश अक्षादित्य रूपस्थान विशेष अपेक्ष उपचर्य दिस इज एक्सटेडेड व्हाट एज एन एक्सप्लेन्ड एज बुद्धि उपाधि सिमिलरली व्हाट इफ यू टेक दि आई एज एन उपाधि देन अक्षिगत पुरुष इफ यू टेक सूर्यमंडल एज एन उपाधि देन आदित्य एज एन उपाधि देन सूर्यमंडल आदित्यगत पुरुष so with each upadhi you can see chaitanya parmeshwara does not make parmatma separated or segmented at all so with the sthana vishesha of aditya or akshi upacharyate apeksha upacharyate considering that with the apeksha there is an upachara there is a figurative usage in the shruti prakasha divat example is given prakasha rivi yatha sauralokadehe अंगुल्यादि उपाधि योगा उपजात भेद से उपाधि उपशमा संबंध उपदेश उपाधि भेदाच भेद उपदेश तदोचित सो वी हेव सीन दिस आई हेव एक्सप्लेन दिस एज टू इफ यू ब्रिंग इन दी फिंगर्स देन विद दी फिंगर्स बिकम दी उपाधि प्रकाश हेज नो संबंध विद दी फिंगर्स लेट अलोन बींग सेगमेंटेड सो इफ आई टेक अवे दी फिंगर्स एंड से दैट ओ नाव द प्रकाश विच वॉज फोर फोल्ड हेज बिकम वन नाव इट इज नॉट ट्रू Four, four, five fold, six fold. Prakasha was not there at all. There was no bheda in Prakasha. So taking away the fingers, if I say there is merging of these, all these beams of light into a single beam of light, that is not true because there was never a segmentation. Even when the fingers were there, the light never got segmented. If you see on the fingers, not on the wall, then you see Prakasha on the fingers as well. Between the fingers as well as on the fingers. therefore the fingers which are seen are due to prakasha buddhi which is seen is seen due to prakasha aditya is seen cognize exists due to prakasha 
the right eye exists due to and is known due to this prakasha brahma prakasha there is absolutely no difference at all there is no segmentation at all this is the 34th sutra we look at 35th in the next part आमना यंत्र के समस्त धमादि मध्यांत वर्जित मानन धनमा पूर्ण मात्म ज्योति रुपास महें नमस्ते धन्यवाद धन्यवाद